Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to remove an additional IP address from the CentOS VPS or dedicated server. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see the prerequisites of it. First one is your VPS or dedicated server must have CentOS 7.x OS. Second one is you must have root access or access to a user with pseudo privileges. In order to remove the additional IP address from your VPS or dedicated server, first you need to identify how you have added an additional IP address in your server. There are two ways to add the additional IP address in the CentOS server. First one is add the additional IP address while creating a new virtual interface named in the style of eth x colon y, where x and y are numbers. For example, eth 0 to 1. Second one is add the additional IP address to the main interface eth 0. Here, we will guide you on both methods to remove the additional IP address from the CentOS server. First we will see how to remove an additional IP address from the CentOS server which is added by creating a new virtual interface. In order to remove the additional IP address from the CentOS server, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Check the current network interface information to get its network device name. Step 2. Select the IP address and its virtual interface name you want to remove. Step 3. Delete the virtual interface name. Step 4. Restart the network service. Step 5. Verify the IP address. Let's go through the steps in detail. Step 1. Check the current network interface information to get its network device name. Here, we have used CentOS 7.1 OS and we are logging into it with root user to perform the steps. In order to get the network device name, you need to check the current network interface information of your server. Execute the following command in the terminal to check it. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Here, we would like to inform you that the network device name will start with Eno, at 0. In our demo VPS server, the network device name is at 0. It is a default interface for the Ethernet device. It will be different for your VPS or dedicated server. Step 2. Select the IP address and its virtual interface name you want to remove. Here, you need to be very careful while selecting the IP address you want to remove. We would like to inform you that the network interface name ETH0 or N0 is the default interface name which you don't have to touch. If you delete it by mistake then your server will be inaccessible. The network interface name ETH0-0 and ETH0-1 air the virtual interface name. The virtual interface name is denoted by ETH0, X where X is the device or interface number to create the aliases for interface ETH0. For each alias you must assign a number sequentially. Let's assume that you want to remove the IP address 192.168.2.154 whose virtual interface name is ETH0-1 from the server. You need to write down the IP address and its virtual interface name in the notepad or in your local system which you want to remove, so you don't get confused while deleting the interface. 
Step 3. Delete the virtual interface name. In order to delete the virtual interface name, you need to go to the network scripts directory. As you know that the network card configuration file is stored under slash etc slash sys config slash network scripts slash. So you need to go on this path. Execute the following command in the terminal to go to the network scripts directory. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Type ls command to see the network card interface. It will start with the name ifcfg network card name. Make sure that the virtual interface name is presented in the network scripts directory which you want to delete. Here, we want to remove the virtual interface at 0 to 1 and it is presented in the network scripts directory. Type rm command in the terminal. virtual interface name which you want to remove. Here, we will enter ifcfg at 0 to 1 because we want to remove it. Press enter. Once you press enter, the system will ask, do you really want to remove it? Enter Y and press Enter to remove it. Type ls command in the terminal to verify whether it is removed or not. You can see that the virtual interface name ifcfg has been removed. Step 4. Restart the network service. Now, we need to restart the network service for the changes to reflect. Execute the following command in the terminal to restart the network service. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. You can see that the network service is restarted. Step 5. Verify the IP address. This is the most important step. Whenever you remove any number of IP addresses from the network card, you need to verify it whether it is removed or not. In order to verify the virtual interface which you have removed is deleted and the rest of all the aliases or virtual interface are up and running, you need to execute the following command in the terminal. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Here, you can see that the IP address 192.168.2.154 and its virtual interface at 0 to 1 do not exist. It means that they were removed. That's all. Now we will see how to remove an additional IP address from the CentOS server which is added to the main interface at zero. In order to remove the additional IP address from the CentOS server, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Check the current network interface information to get its network device name. Step 2. Open the default network card interface file. Step 3. Remove the IP address and its prefix. Step 4. Restart the network service. Step 5. Verify the IP address. Let's go through the steps in detail. Step 1. 
Check the current network interface information to get its network device name. In order to get the network device name, you need to check the current network interface information of your server. Execute the following command in the terminal to check it. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Here, we would like to inform you that the network device name will start with Eno, at 0. In our demo VPS server, the network device name is at 0. It is a default interface for the Ethernet device. It will be different for your VPS or dedicated server. In the default network interface, you can see all the IP addresses which you have added. You can see that we have added 192.168.2.151 and 192.168.2.154 as additional IP addresses in our demo VPS server. Step 2. Open the default network card interface file. In order to open the default network interface file, you need to go to the network scripts directory. As you know that the network card configuration file is stored under slash etc slash sys config slash network scripts slash. So you need to go on this path. Execute the following command in the terminal to go to the network scripts directory. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Type ls command to see the network card interface. It will start with the name ifcfg network card name. In our demo VPS, the default network card interface is IFCFG at 0. Type nano command in the terminal. Enter the default network card interface and press enter. Here, we will use IFCFG at 0 because it is our default network interface. Here, you can see all the IP addresses which you have added in your default network card. Step 3. Remove the IP address and its prefix. Locate the IP address which you want to remove from the default network card interface file. Here, we want to remove the IP address 192.168.2.154 from the default network card. While removing the IP address don't forget to remove its prefix. Now, you need to save the file. In order to save the file, you need to press Ctrl plus X from the keyboard. After then type Y in the field Save Modified and press Enter. The file has been saved. Step 4. Restart the network service. Now, we need to restart the network service for the changes to reflect. Execute the following command in the terminal to restart the network service. 
copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. You can see the network service is restarted. Step 5. Verify the IP address. This is the most important step. Whenever you remove any number of IP addresses in the network card, you need to verify it whether it is removed or not. In order to verify it, you need to execute the following command in the terminal. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Here, you can see that the IP address 192.168.2.154 does not exist in the default network card interface. It means that it was removed. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to remove an additional IP address from the CentOS VPS or dedicated server. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.